Hello, welcome to the auction of this very rare Seiko 5 model, which I'm guessing is from the 1970s. It is, a, it is in need of slight repair, which I'll go through in a minute. It's a very interesting 1970s Seiko. It's got a kind of like a turtle, turtle-esque dial to it. Really interesting um, shape. It's got a really 3D the the dial you see all the markers are really elevated and you can see <coughs> sorry <coughs> you can see the really um it's like a th really 3d nature of the dial um at the moment let's go a bit nuts it's a seiko 5 so obviously it doesn't have doesn't have hand winding there's a bit, little bit of lume on the hands there well i think that's just a camera but, um so i was using this quite happily but unfortunately, I was pulling it out to change the time one day and the crown popped out and fell on the floor, never to be found again. So, this is the problem with it. It has no crown. So, I mean, it had no hand winding anyway. Um, it does work, obviously, after a few shakes, then it's Seiko 5. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> it ticks happily away. Let's throw the second hand. That's it. And, and I, when I wore it, it was it was it was fine. Just to give it a quick get it going. It's not going to. After it's been shaken for a good old thirty seconds, it ticks happily away. Well, that's still pretty much. You have to shake it quite a while. Oh. And I have I have worn this. It does need a good, good, good bit of shaking. It's not been used for quite a while. Um, so obviously it's a spare some repairs. I think the movement's all right. Could be could could look at. It should after a few shakes should be going going a bit more than that. But I, I remember I had to I had to shake it for about for quite a bit and then wear it and it was going fine after it started. Um, so you can see it going. It does actually go. If you keep shaking that for about a minute, it will go. It will go and keep going. So um, anyway, it's all for spare some repairs, but. Uh, for my all I my understanding is it just needs this crown reattaching. I haven't actually got my um opening tool to show you the movement. I will post a later video when I've found my tool to open the case back. Um it's got Seiko marked on the case back. Anyway, so oh size, yes yeah, size. Um it's quite an interesting um size this watch. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Um it's got um a strange lug size of 16 and a half millimeters. I think it must have had some custom Seiko Seiko strap in it or something because it's actually the it's the lug width here. I've always had a problem trying to find a strap for it. I found a, a leather kind of strap. Um, the lug width is is a really strange 16 and a half. It's quite a small lug width considering the size of the watch. Um, it's got quite a bit kind of turtle esque face as you can see really shiny um, the measure the, the measurements are 30 what's on that? 35 36 across I'll measure it again and put that almost like 37 on that and uh, this way around measurement is 40 44, I'll put, I'll measure it again and put the measurements in. Anyway, this is the, um, the Seiko 5, 1970s, in need of, uh, maybe a service in the movement, or maybe a different, and a, um, I doubt it's been, ever been serviced, and the crown, um, have been wearing it, the only reason I'm not wearing it now, because the crown fell off, and I was wearing it very recently. So this is the Seiko 5 1970s brown dial. Lovely, really nice dial on this. Uh, really nice um, day and date window. Uh, any questions, let me know. I'll post another video with the